Hello, let us solve this question. For previous seven questions, I have already provided the video solution. If you want that, you can refer to the description. Let us solve this very, very fast. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, find the value of. So here, two most important information that I will use, sum of zeros minus b upon a, product of zeros c upon a, and this is the simple information. If you know the theory of this concept, you can easily get this information. Now let's solve this very, very fast. So here I will start with LCM. So inside the bracket, I will take the LCM. So LCM will be alpha beta. So here I will write alpha beta in the denominator. Now this beta to be multiplied by alpha because LCM is alpha beta. So this will be alpha cube because alpha square times alpha. Here this will be beta cube, isn't it? Now let's go over here. This will be again LCM alpha beta. So here I will write alpha beta. This alpha will be multiplied by alpha. So alpha square. This beta will be multiplied by beta. So beta square. Now let us solve further. So here A into bracket. Now to simplify this, if you know the identity for cubic polynomial, then you can understand it very easily. So here, if you do not know, let me remind you here A cube plus b cube here alpha beta but i am explaining with a and b if you have a cube plus b cube then you can say a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into bracket a plus b so same way here you can say alpha plus beta whole cube minus 3 alpha beta into bracket alpha plus beta so if you know this identity you can understand it easily if you do not know you can refer to the identities of cubic polynomial now let's go over here so this is the concept we used in question 5 also and i think in question 7 also alpha square plus beta square so if you want to write whole square first of all i will write the denominator lcm is alpha beta if you want to write the whole square, then you can say alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now, let's substitute the value that we know. So here, what is alpha plus beta? So that is minus b upon a here whole cube because here we have cube minus 3. What is alpha times beta? That is c upon a. What is alpha plus beta? That is minus b upon a bracket close. And here in the denominator, I will write c upon a because alpha times beta product of zeros is c upon a here i will write b again alpha plus beta that is minus b upon a square minus 2 alpha times beta c upon a in the denominator also c upon a because alpha times beta now let's go ahead so this will be a outside the bracket inside this will be minus b cube in the denominator a cube this is whole cube so it has also cube it has also cube. This will be plus 3bc upon a square. Why? This minus and this minus will make plus. So 3bc upon a times a, a square. Bracket closed in the denominator c upon a. Plus b, this will be positive b square because minus b times minus b is positive b square. So b square upon a square minus 2c upon a. Here I forgot to uh, write this c upon a. So I wrote it just now. And in the denominator again c upon a. Now let's go ahead. This will be a here. LCM will be a cube, isn't it? Here LCM will be a cube. I'm talking about numerator. And in the numerator, LCM of denominators will be a cube. So this will be minus b cube. And here a square multiplied by what will give you a cube? That is a. So numerator to be multiplied by 3bc to be multiplied by a. So 3abc. In the denominator LCM, that's a cube. In the denominator c upon a bracket close here it's b here if you see carefully a square is the lcm so here again i will do b square a times what gives you a square that is a so this is 2ac in the denominator lcm a square and here c upon a now let's go ahead this will be a times i will copy this stuff so this is minus b cube plus 3abc upon a cube and I want to write this c upon a in multiplication. So I will do the reciprocal. Now here this will be same. I will copy this. If I want to write this c upon a in multiplication, I need to do the reciprocal. Now I will further simplify this. Here I have a cube and here I have a. A is in numerator. This a is also in the numerator. So these two a will be cancelled with these three a's. These are three a's, right? So two a's are cancelled. So I am left over with only one a in the denominator. And because of this c, I wrote ac. I am left over with 1a and this c. So that will make ac. 
same way i will go here here i have a square so that means a times a this a this a will be cancelled so here i will write b cube minus 2 abc upon ac why b cube this b is with both so b times b square is b cube b times 2 ac is 2 abc upon ac 1 a has gone so a times c ac now denominators are equal so i can further simplify very easily here ac i wrote all the information that i have now here you can see these are like terms 3 abc minus 2 abc will be 1 abc and this minus b cube and plus b cube will be cancelled so i am left with abc upon ac now here a a cancelled c c cancelled so i am left with b so my answer is b so i hope you find it easy i have solved all eight questions and if you are watching this video only and if you want to see the previous videos you can refer to the description and in all the videos i have given link to the other questions so i hope you find this useful and you really perform good in your exam thanks for watching